بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا اویئرنیس اینڈ ایڈ پروگرامس آف دا فوڈ اینڈ ایگریکلچر آرگنائزیشن ریگارڈنگ دا نیڈ آف دا فوڈ آف دا نیڈی کنٹریز دے ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ سیورل پروگرامس دا فرسٹ پروگرام فار دس واز دا فوڈ فار پیس In Food for Peace, they started this program in 1954 and expanded it in 1960. The main purpose of this program was to help to trade, to sell, to donate and to provide the surplus food to the needy countries to meet the food requirements. This program is operated under four titles Title 1, Title 2, Title 3 and Title 4. In Title 1, which is related with the direct sale of the food commodities to the friendly countries. In Title 2, the food is provided to the needy countries in the throughout the world from government to government. in case of disaster relief school feeding and economic development etc remember that in title 2 the food is supplied from government to government in title 3 the food is supplied from the american and fao to the member countries by the american and international agencies in title 4 the food is supplied to the friendly countries on a repayable amount which is extended for uh, some time basically the united states of america invested around 25 billion dollars from 1954 to 1965 in this program and have now provided a sufficient amount of fund for this project and in 1962 the united states of america and the fao food and agriculture organization established another organization another agency named world food program The World Food Program is also supported by the United States of America under Title 2. In Title 2, they provide the food to the school feeding, economic development and disaster relief etc from government to government. And they are providing this to the uh, World Food Program to help the member countries. the objectives which they have achieved are they have provided food to many countries of the world they have trained many countries of the world to produce their own food to become self sufficient and to move from aid to trade to get self sufficient and even to export the food if they are capable of producing sufficient food moreover they are working on another thing that is when we were discussing the global food issues we discussed that the food which is grown in an area is not that much accepted or appreciated to be consumed in another area according to the eating pattern of the people living over there while the animals are a bit quicker in accept, uh, accepting such change in their diet while the humans are not accepting the change in the diet with ease so the countries who are providing food to the countries who are in need are now focusing in producing the food which is accepted which is appreciated to be consumed in those areas they are producing that food in the in their own countries and then after that they are exporting and providing it to the overseas countries and in this way they are trying to overcome the deficiency of the food and help the member countries after this 
we will discuss another lecture which will be another program which will be about the freedom from hunger campaign and related activities under that title the united states and the food and agriculture organization mainly we can say that the united nation is supporting the member countries we will discuss that in the upcoming lecture if you have any question moreover one thing more and that is the most important that the world food program is also sponsored by the united states of america and the fao under title 2 if you have any question you can ask i will try to answer your questions thank you